सब्सक्राइब टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एनी वीडियो लेसन फ्रॉम राउज आई एस स्टडी सर्कल वेलकम टू द डेली प्रिलियंस प्रैक्टिस फ्रॉम द हिंदू एंड द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस The first question in today's discussion is related to this news article which has appeared on page number 14 in the Hindu newspaper and it is related to sloth beer because the world is celebrating its first world sloth beer day now before taking up the practice question if you look at the previous year question papers upsc has generally asked questions related to important species in the prelims examination for example this question was related to indian elephants and their characteristics and this question was asked in the year 2020 Now if you look at this practice question on your screen it is related to three statements related to sloth beer and we have to identify which all statements are correct here in this line if you look at the first statement they are endemic to the indian subcontinent only it is a correct statement because they are mostly found in india sri lanka bhutan and nepal which are all part of the indian subcontinent and that is why it is endemic to indian subcontinent because 90% of its population is found in india and in neighboring countries of india which are part of the subcontinent that is sri lanka bhutan and nepal if you look at the second statement it says they are found in hilly areas only this statement here is incorrect because the sloth bears are found in wide range of habitats like wet and dry tropical forests shrublands and grasslands below 1500 meter in the indian subcontinent and that is why this statement here is incorrect because they are found in wide range of habitats And if you look at this third statement, it reads the Aroji Beer Sanctuary is Asia's first sloth beer sanctuary. Now this statement here is correct because this is the first sloth beer sanctuary of Asia, which is located in the state of Karnataka, and that is why the third statement here is correct. And hence the correct answer that comes out is C, that is one and three only. The second question in today's discussion is from the Hindu newspaper on page number five, and it is related to Tamil Nadu notifying India's first slender loris sanctuary. and in the previous year question also we have seen that upsc has been asking questions in the environment section from important species which are under conservation in various parts of india and accordingly in 2020 a question was asked related to indian elephants so in this practice question that you see on your screen we have to identify which all statements are correct related to the slender loris the first statement reads that india's first dedicated sanctuary is proposed to be opened in tamil nadu now this was the context of the news article itself and hence we are aware that tamil nadu will be the first state which will have first dedicated slender loris sanctuary so the first statement here is correct in this the second statement is very crucial it reads that the government notified the establishment of sanctuary under the biodiversity act 2022 now this statement here is incorrect because the government has notified the establishment of this new sanctuary under the wildlife protection act of 1972 and normally the sanctuaries are notified under the wildlife protection act and that is why this second statement here is incorrect third statement reads that they are nocturnal animals that is they are active during the night time which is also a correct statement here so the third statement is correct so again the correct answer here is c that is one and three only in this the second statement could have been easily eliminated if you had basic knowledge of how the sanctuaries are created and under what law are these sanctuaries notified so that is why the statement 2 is incorrect and the correct answer is 1 and 3 only the next question is related to this news article in the hindu newspaper on page number 16 and it is related to index of industrial production and the news article reads that in the month of august the index of industrial production has shrunk by 0.8% and this has largely been because of inflation related issues now in economy section if you closely look at the questions that are asked all the important indices which measure the state of the indian economy for example the consumer price index wholesale price index which measure the level of inflation in the indian economy also the index of industrial production is an important indicator and that is why questions are usually asked related to this in the economy section in the prelims examination and if you look at this question that was asked in 2015 it was related to index of eight core industries in this line if you look at this question it is about the index of industrial production and we have to identify which all statements that are given here are correct in the context of the index of industrial production now if you look at this first statement here it says that it is compiled and published every month by the office of economic advisor under the ministry of commerce and industry 
Now, normally we would have a tendency to mark this as correct because the index is related to industrial production and the ministry that is given is commerce and industry. However, this statement here is incorrect because this index of industrial production is compiled by National Statistical Office under the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. And that is why the first statement here is incorrect. Now, if you know that the first statement here is incorrect, you can eliminate the options A, B and D. So the correct answer that comes out is 2 and 3 only. In this line, if you look at the second statement, it reads that the current base year for the calculation of index of industrial production is 2011 and 12, which is a correct statement. And also it gives highest weightage to the manufacturing sector, which is also correct. And accordingly, the correct answer that comes out is C, that is 2 and 3 only. The next question is related to this news article on page number 11 in the Hindu newspaper. Now, this article is related to the Chola Empire, which was one of the longest ruling dynasties in South India and which is also one of the prominent dynasties of South India. Now, although there is no current affair context, however, Chola dynasty is a very important dynasty in the ancient and the medieval history part of Indian history in the prelims and the mains examination. And Chola Empire is a very important dynasty in the Indian history because of its important aspects related to its economy, its naval power, its rural administration and various other aspects like architecture, literature, etc. And that is why let us look at one practice question related to Chola Empire. In this line, if you look at the previous year question papers, UPSC has regularly asked questions related to different aspects of the important dynasties in India in the ancient history part. For example, there was a question related to Gupta dynasty and the important ports of the Gupta dynasty. And this question was asked in the year 2022. So in this line, if you look at this practice question on your screen related to the Chola Empire, the first statement reads that the city of Thanjavur was built by Raja Raja Chola. Now, if you read about the Chola Empire, you will find that the Cholas were first mentioned during the Sangam texts. However, the reemergence of the Cholas began with Vijayalaya, who was one of the important kings who established the Chola Empire once again. And this period was between 850 to 871 AD. And Vijayalaya was the one who laid the foundation of independent Chola kingdom in 850 and he is known to have built the city of Thanjavur. That is why the first statement here is incorrect because although Raja Raja Chola was one of the important kings of the Chola empire, however, he did not build the city of Thanjavur and the first statement here is incorrect. The second statement reads that at its peak, Chola empire included territories from Sri Lanka and Indonesia. Now in this line, if you look at the naval expeditions of the Chola Empire, they had remarkable prowess in Navy and Naval Warfare. And they controlled whole of Coromandel Coast, which includes Tamil Nadu, South Indian Coast along the Bay of Bengal, as well as Malabar Coast. However, they also captured Northern Sri Lanka and ruled it. And Rajendra I even defeated and captured Sri Vijaya Kingdom, which was located in Southern Sumatra, which was or which is a part of modern day Indonesia. And that is why the second statement here is correct. That is at its peak, Chola Empire included the territories from Sri Lanka and Indonesia. The third statement reads that the Muzris was one of the important seaports. Now, this third statement is incorrect here because Muzris was not one of the important ports of the Chola Empire. The one of the important ports of Chola Empire was Nagapattinam as well as Gangai Konda Cholapuram. So that is why the correct answer that comes out is B, that is 2 only. In this line, the fifth question is also related to the Chola Empire. And the question reads, Vattivayakal in Chola Empire referred to which of the following? Now in this line, if you read about the Chola Empire and its irrigation and water management, it was one of the prominent in the Chola Empire. In this line, the revenue dependent on agriculture and Cholas focused a lot on water management and the irrigation. In this line, the Vattivayakkal was a way of harnessing water in the Kaveri Delta or the way of harnessing rainwater in the Kaveri Delta because irrigation was one of the important aspects of Chola Empire because the revenue was generated from agriculture mainly. And that is why the Vatti Vayakkal was a crisscross channel and was a traditional way of harnessing the rainwater in the Kaveri Delta in which the Vati ran in north-south direction while the Vayakkal runs in the east-west direction. And Vati is simply a drainage channel and Vayakkal is a supply channel. 
so that is why the vatti vehicle was an important innovation in the field of irrigation for harnessing rain water which was developed during the chola period or as it was termed during the chola period in this line in today's dns you will find that the chola empire and its detail has been given in detail in the pdf that is attached to the dns so do go through that and improve your learning about the chola empire in detail and the last question for today is related to a news article that has appeared in the indian express on page number 16 in the explain section in this line it is related to international monetary funds economic report it has highlighted a bleak future for the global economy as well as it has reduced the economic growth projection for indian economy and that is why we need to be aware of the report which is published by the imf in this regard and if you look at the previous year question papers in the previous years upsc has regularly asked questions related to important indices or important reports which are published at a global level by international monetary fund world economic forum or world bank and for example this question that was asked in 2016 read the global financial stability report is prepared by which of the following so the correct answer here was b international monetary fund in this regard the international monetary fund has also come out with world economic outlook report and this has highlighted a bleak future for the global economy as well as it has reduced the growth projection for indian gdp growth rate so in this regard if you look at this practice question it reads the world economic outlook report is published by which of the following and we are aware that it is published by international monetary fund so the correct answer is c here 